What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nicola Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel. Today what we got for you guys is another Der Eisendracke video here. This one though is a little bit different. This one we're going to be talking about the radios within the map. As you guys may or may not know, I played Der Eisendracke literally all day yesterday. That's what the majority of my time went into. I think I played maybe like five to ten at the most games of multiplayer. Everything else was zombies and I searched high and low for everything that I could that pertained to backstory and things like that. Now, I went all over the map searching high and low, far and wide, and what I came up with are five radios. I don't want to say that these are all of the radios, but they might be because I truly cannot find any more here. If you guys know of any more, leave them down there in the comment section down below. And if there are any more, we'll definitely make an amended video here with this. But for right now, I have radios one through five here for you guys. And there's some really interesting story behind it. So without further ado, let's take a listen and I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. And enjoy. Our allies in Division 9 have made great strides with their own research and development. Though I must confess to having had my own doubts regarding the feasibility of their more ambitious weapons designs. Successful field trials suggest that we may be able to deploy the specimen as early as this winter. Assuming progress remains on track, we may finally be able to break the stalemate. Operation Shield is unlikely to succeed as originally. 